guys welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here my name is shiko you're very much welcome can you subscribe to this channel and you know hit the notification bell to be notified on every time i upload so that you won't miss any upload from me yeah on today's video i'm sharing with you guys how i achieved this look it's a holiday inspired makeup look that you guys can try and you're going out for your family um dinners and all that um during this festive season and i'm also sharing with you guys my graduation story and basically my experience in public uni i recently graduated last week on friday yeah so i'm so excited for this video and i hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it lights just went off and was about to do this intro so um basically at facing my window trying to get an intro but no worries um yeah let's just go straight into the video and you guys need to keep it locked here for vlogmas 2019 i'll be um uploading almost daily I'll try my best to upload a video daily so subscribe subscribe <laughs> yeah so let's just dive into the video guys if you're planning to go to a public university wrong move wrong move these Kenyan public universities are just <sighs> sad so today I came I'm graduating on Friday today is Wednesday we've been coming to try to get our gowns since Monday we're being told there are no there are no capes like there's the gun but then there, there, there are no capes so you have to come back the next day mind you you're coming from like for me i'm coming from mombasa road naukoni juja so today came early thinking i would succeed but till now it's like 12 nothing people are just it's like a scramble to get inside to get the gown the the people giving out the gown are not able to organize people so right now, I need to talk to line because nothing is happening. Nothing. They even stopped giving out the gowns. How are you not even able to organize people? How are you not able to issue guy me? Yani. And tomorrow is rehearsal, and the graduation is on Friday. Let me just show you guys the situation. <laughs> but it is sad. Me aki. It is so sad. It's a struggle. So everyone here is waiting. We were all in the line at one point, but it may come hardly. It's finally, finally, I have the gown. I am so happy, and I am tired. I have it's it's almost 4 p.m. It's actually 3:40, and I was here at 11. The whole day, I've been struggling to get a gown. I actually had to tell someone to pick one for me, someone who's ahead of the line. If I hadn't, I'd still be lining up right now. So yeah, thank God start by priming my face using the Maybelline baby skin pore eraser to give my face a smooth finish and to um, blur the pores and any blemishes on my skin yeah, that's the amount I'm gonna use I'm going to use Kabirondo Loala foundation. This is in the shade Minyazi to do my foundation. I'm gonna start with foundation today. Um, yeah, so about the graduation story. <laughs> I was actually supposed to graduate last year, that's 2018 November, but I ended up graduating in the recent graduation, which was in 29th um, November 2019, last week. And um the reason I didn't graduate last year was because um, I hadn't cleared my school fees on time and so there are some papers I wasn't able to do because I had not paid my school fees. Yeah, so I was like, I was not even worried at that time. I was just happy that I finished school and was like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna finish doing the, the, the paper. I think it was just one or two papers. I'm gonna do the papers and I'm gonna graduate in July because in Jquad we graduate in July and December. So I actually did the papers and come July I was expecting to be on the graduation list but shock on me. We were told that we have to wait till December. The only people graduating at that time are the ones who are in that semester. So I was like, ah, whatever. But Yanni. It was hard and then there's a certain paper organic chemistry paper 
that we had done in when I was in first year and it was I had I did the um I had a missing mark on that paper they did I don't know in public universities you have to just get used to the fact that most of the time sometimes they're just gonna lose your marks and it will be a missing mark sometimes you're gonna follow up and they won't find it and you're gonna have to redo the paper and maybe you had passed excellently in that paper and you had read but they don't care you're just gonna redo that paper so um for me redoing that paper was just out of the question it's organic chemistry oh my god organic chem like we literally used to draw those chemical structures in that unit and i, I was just when I was coming, uh, when I was in high school, I was just not a chemistry person, and um, there's no way I'm gonna like. I still was in denial that why am I doing chemistry again? Why am I doing chemical structures again? And these ones are even more complicated. But yeah, we did the paper and kangangana, and then it's a missing mark. I, let me tell you guys I followed up on that paper to get my results for four years like since I was in first year I got that mark in fourth year I written like five letters to the department asking them to find my paper nothing like I would follow the examination officer everywhere since he was teaching us a certain unit every time after class I would like follow up to ask him um, have you found my mark what's the progress nini nini and the story was just the same um we were working on it we we're working on it come next week <laughs> it was so frustrating but finally when i was in like for the year i was serious i was like you know if i don't do this now i won't graduate so the mark was actually um they found they found the mark and it was added and i actually got the transcript for the same the, i got my first year transcript um then um i remember now like after i did the other first which i had not done which made me not graduate i i i nini after doing them and passing i was now like relaxed waiting for the next graduation there isn't another one i graduated in november Yes, yeah, so I was just relaxed till when I was doing that darling shoot. I get a call from the examination officer, and actually he called during the shoot, so I had not picked up my phone. I didn't even hear it ringing. So after the shoot, when we we're like going for a break, I found a lot of missed calls and a message that saying, "Hey Sarah, this is." Um, to do examination the examination officer and they are, I'm not finding ah no this is the examination officer I need you to call me in the next 30 minutes and so I was like hey what's up let me just call eh. after calling he starts like this um Sarah what's wrong with you I'm here calling you and you're not picking up the call did you where are you eh? I was like chill like why you why why I'm done with school like I've not graduated yes but uh, okay I was like wait what um, am I supposed to always be on my phone waiting for someone to call me so that I receive the phone call like he was so rude that examination officer was so rude at he why are you not picking your phone yeah so I just explained I'm, I'm I didn't even say I mean I should go definitely we didn't understand so i said i'm in a meeting and i couldn't pick the phone call what's up what's up yeah he was like um, i can't find your organic chemistry results so do you, where are they did you do that exam was it a special exam no so i'm like no that was just a normal exam that i did but the results were missing and i followed up during the four years in my university life and it was finally found and yeah i was told by the examination so i found it at that point i was not even remembering that i had the transcript already if i did honestly i would just have ignored him because i have the transcript that's proof that i have the marks but i wasn't remembering so i was just like trying to be polite and told him that those results were found so you just check and you'll find him he's like are you then going to tell me how to do my work 
CJ, um, you're so rude. I'm like, no, I'm not being rude. I'm just telling you that the results were found and you can even check the letters I wrote in my file and you will see that too, I followed up and yeah. It's like, Sarah, CJ, what, what? As in, he was so rude. I was so pissed during that shoot and yet, for the, since I'm modeling for hair, I have to smile. The specific shoot I was doing, I had to smile. So he made my shoot so difficult that day. And I was like, you know, at the end of the day, I want to graduate. So um, let me just pray over this issue. I can't imagine redoing that organic chemistry paper. It was just so hard. So finally, um, the next day he called me and he's found the results. I was so happy that, yeah, I'm at least I'm, I'm still going to graduate. Um, because, man... <sighs> can you imagine redoing paper that you did in first year and you out like you're already done with the coursework you're waiting to graduate then they tell you to redo a paper that you did in first year of course like you can't remember anything and it's organic chemistry i wouldn't remember anything so i was just grateful to god that they found those marks and i did the paper ah no they found the marks yeah and yeah finally i graduated so um the point of this video was to share my my university my graduation story and basically um the pros and cons of graduate of the pros and cons of studying in public university and most of them as you've heard right now are just cons so the first one is you're gonna lose your marks um miss you're gonna have a lot of missing marks and no one cares like honestly no one cares no one is gonna like help you follow up you just have to do it yourself you just have to be patient and keep following up um the other one is we used to like most of the times you're told you, you have the timetable and you're told that tomorrow we have a class at 8 a.m in this venue then tomorrow at 8 a.m. you go to that venue. There's a, there's there's other there's another class who have already taken up that venue. Now you have to go start looking for another venue. And by the time like you're getting another venue, it's already almost nine. Then you have to maybe that venue doesn't have enough desks, so you have to go look for chairs and bring them to that same room. And you know the the lecturer just calls and he's like, um, I have to go. Or today I won't make it. Let's test me tomorrow. After all that hassle, you just go back. Especially if you're commuting, you just wasted your fare like that, and you're back home, or you just waste the whole day in Jaiquat, in in school, yani. Yeah. So that's the second disadvantage of public universities. So the third con that I have is, you see, when you are doing exams, you had to like clear your school fees, and you, so that you can appear in a certain list that the lecturer will come with and you have to confirm that your name is on that list for you to be able to sit for the exam and if let's say the exam is already tomorrow and you paid your school fees today you definitely are not on that list because they have already produced a list like maybe um, three days to when the exams are starting and so what you have to do is go to the finance department for them to update and add you on the list and let me tell you the line that used to be on that finance like it's only one finance department that serves the whole school and in jquad in jquad we didn't have like um i think in other universities like un they have their you can know about your school fees and all that in your student portal for us sometimes our student portal was not updated and yeah you just have to go physically to the finance and the like is a day i actually fainted when queuing that finance department like how do you have one finance department that serves the whole school Danny, it was just crazy so um to the advantages do i have any advantage <laughs> in public university it's not strict on what to wear and what not to wear you can dye your hair you can rock any hairstyle you want can wear anything for as long as it's decent and yeah it's not like you have a certain uniform or rules 
when it comes to dressing so that was actually pretty nice and yeah but eh, for me like I would if, if, if there's anyone like who is about to go to university right now and you're watching this and you 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 like you can afford to go to a private university especially if you're going to a public university through the self-sponsored option me i would just straight up advise you to go to a private uni because like for jquat i was myself i was under self-sponsored and my semi my school fees per sem would come to up to 105k and I think that's like if you add just a small amount if you add if you can just top up that amount kidogo you can go to a good private uni and yeah life there i think it's just better yeah so you can leave me a comment down below share your experience in public uni and if you'd advise if if like if you were to do it again would you still go back to a public uni or you'd go to a private uni because for me i would definitely never go back to a public university especially in kenya no that i would never do i would never do that but i'm grateful to god that i finally graduated and if you're watching this and you're going through a huge struggle graduating in this public unis please take heart be patient your time will come you'll eventually graduate for me like with the time i was like a student on the side telling me that they still can't find my organic chem results i was like if they tell me to repeat i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna give up on my graduation like that and i was serious so if you're going through the same word of advice please don't give up your time will still come there's more to life than just graduating you know sometimes even after graduating it's just stay at home and you know the ones who graduated before you some of them are just at home so the best thing that you can do is um get 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 a side hustle get keep yourself busy as you even wait keep yourself busy don't just sit down because an idle mind is the devil's workshop and you're gonna get so stressed and yeah it's not healthy at all that's what i would tell you and also if you're in uni right now that some of the things I wish I did when still in uni is I wish I'd started my YouTube channel way back like when I was in first year I would be so far right now or if, even if I started doing like okay for me when I was still in uni in my first years and all that I used to model so I would get ushering jobs and you know some side hustles which would give me some money for upkeep and then I started my makeup career like I started doing makeup on people when I was in like third year and then started my youtube channel when i was like almost done with for the year so i wish i would have started a bit earlier because in campus you have a lot of time you have a lot sometimes the, ca the classes are cancelled and you're just idle the whole day and for me sometimes me and my friends would sleep like we would watch movies and sleep like for me i pre I'm, I'm a person who would prefer sleeping more than watching so i would sleep and i wasted a lot of time which which is okay somehow since you're in college and you know life is still easy but if i were to do it again i would work i would i would start another side hustle i would like yani there's so much to do i would read books yeah so my advice to anyone who's still in campus and you're watching this please don't just stay in the house don't don't just waste your time no start a channel start a youtube channel about what you love go to duboa buy some accessories sell them to your classmates you know just or import some stuff if you can and sell to your classmates and yeah don't waste your time also that's the best time to discover your skills that's that's the best time to discover your talent that's the best time to um even like strengthen your spiritual life and discover um god at a personal level yeah so if like you're good at cooking you can start you know cooking things like viazi karai and hot dogs and just make sure your classmates know that you're doing that business and maybe where you live if let's say you live that is this will only apply by the way if you live outside school because i don't think it's allowed to cook if you're living in the hostels 
yeah so just make sure like if you live um in those apartments outside your campus um people know that you do that business and they'll come straight to your doorstep to buy like i mean in campus people are just people have a lot of free time they'll come up to your place to buy food so yeah you I mean, there are so many small businesses that one can start go to gikomba get some clothes some nice clothes and sell them at affordable prices to your classmates yeah and yani you can make money easily in school in campus just even if it's not much at least you don't have to keep on asking your parents for money to buy your clothes or buy your makeup or stuff like that yeah so that's what i wish i knew when i was in campus I'm looking for my powder have fun of course have have fun i mean this is the only time your parents are giving you money for free and you you have freedom just have fun but don't don't go overboard don't miss don't take advantage of the fact that you have freedom to do things that won't benefit you you know don't waste all your time partying and drinking and using drugs all the time you know like me if I would advise you guys to, if if you can have a good relationship if you can invest in knowing god if you can invest in having a personal relationship with god from when you in campus like when you're that young you'll just god will just keep on guiding you you know the will of god for your life at a young age and you'll save yourself so much time that you could have done wasted trying out stuff because when you you you're like intimate with god he'll just tell you do this don't do this don't waste your time doing this yeah so have a relationship with god when in campus the other thing is find mentors find um people who can guide you who can encourage you who can advise you on various things and also like when you're choosing friends um look for friends who you're equally yoked to you can't be born again and you're spending all your time with people who are always partying who are smoking weed who are just thinking of the next illegal thing to do you know you have to have friends who are equally yoked to you so like let's say you're a christian you have to find people who will encourage each other in your journey of pursuing christ just you know just have friends who you are equally yoked with so that they won't pull you down you know so that you'll just strengthen each other and pull each other up and move together forward people who are who have goals like people who who are forecast like you are i'm assuming you are <laughs> yeah so like you can't be such a person with such a big vision and you're working with people who don't even know what they want in life they're just gonna derail you so yeah choose the right friends enjoy your campus life but also invest invest in new skills um do something do something just improve yourself on a daily as much as you're having fun keep improving yourself yeah so back to makeup it's so hard to do makeup when you're talking can you guys can you help me out on this like i want for since I, i'm doing vlogmas since i want to share like a lot of videos during this christmas period sometimes i'll do vlogs sometimes i'll do sit down videos um are you guys open to watching a video that i'm not doing makeup on i'm just seated and talking or do you prefer a video like this one where i'm doing makeup as i am talking let me guys know please help me out leave that in the comment section because i'm not so sure so i'm gonna swipe off this powder and i'll use um maybe lean fit me the shade toffee and i'm using this small kabuki brush for that But I'm, I'm so grateful to God that I finally graduated and I can think of Yani that's like not in my mind anymore. Jaquat is not on my mind anymore. I'm so grateful to God for that. Um, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna master the course that I studied, which is public health. I'm just gonna, if I ever go back to school again, if I'm gonna do a totally different thing, I'm not sure yet. We will discover as time goes, but I, I would really want to study um, something that is beauty related professionally, like um, cosmetology and skincare, things like that. I would really love to study that. So maybe God will open that door. And I wish if, if I'm gonna go back to school, it will have to be abroad. I'm not. I'm not going back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. That you're now. I'm. I'm <laughs> I can't I can't deal with Kenyan universities again. So somehow God will open doors. I trust him. And if you're watching this and you're not from Kenya, how are how is the education system in your country? Was it hard for you to graduate? Um is thing are things um easier? Let me know in the comment section. So I'm applying blush. This is um, an e.l.f. cosmetics blush that I love so much. But I'm just applying that on my cheeks. Like that. Then I'm gonna spray my face. And I'm using this. Let me shake it. Since it has some sort of highlight, in, I don't know whether you guys can see has some glitterish stuff so I have to shake it first and then I'm gonna spray my face I'm gonna wait for that to dry up as I do my lipstick because you know sometimes I don't have a specific order in which I do my makeup <laughs> I do, sometimes I'll start with the eyebrows and the eyes, other times I'll start with the face. Whatever, whatever is near, depending on my mood. So I'm gonna do a red lipstick. This is Colourpop Ultra 13 Lip in the shade Ambush. Oh, so guys, I forgot to share this one of the best times in campus for me was when we went to Mombasa we've actually gone to Mombasa twice for a school trip and eh, for me it was more of <laughs> uh, me and my friends guy it's just another story for another day it was just uh, for us it was not a school trip for us it was ha fun having fun it was fun boy and, I had one of the best times in Mombasa with my classmates back then in yeah so that's one good thing I experienced in campus this was really so much fun I'm gonna use my foundation to clean out this I'm then going to highlight my face I'm done with the face, now going to do my eyes. My eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this shade over here for my transition. This is the Morphe 25D palette. A lighter shade of brown and blend the edges of that first color. everything is that smooth you can't see any harsh lines I'm gonna use this golden shade over here and my lid then going back to the first shade I'm blending out these edges that's it guys that's that's just about this look um, it's just a simple holiday look that you guys can rock to your dinner events and all those family events and friends and yeah all those holiday events in this festive season yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created 
this look yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye